and 190 countries and organisations have agreed at the COP26 climate summit to phase out coal power and in support for new coal power plants. Some countries, though, are showing no sign of slowing down. China doesn't just use coal. It's still building or enhancing the power plants that depend on the fuel. Welcome to China's coal country. The impact of all this isn't just being felt here, but by the planet itself. Coal is the dirtiest fossil fuel around, and China burns more of it than the rest of the world combined. And it's speeding up. We've taken a road trip to Shanxi province, north China, to understand it better. It's a place where almost everything is caked in grime and soot, but it's the scale that's astonishing. We visit three coal power plants within a few hours' drive of each other. They're under construction or adding extra power, and between them alone represent more coal power than the entire UK output. And what's more, they nearly weren't built. They were all halted a few years ago under a national directive to restrict coal power, only to resume construction. What this is, is zombie coal power, killed off back in 2017, but now being brought stumbling back to life, ready to spew harmful gases into the air. And China can't or won't kill it off for good. Ningwu town is attached to one of the mines and heavily reliant on the industry. People are too busy trying to survive the coming winter to even know about COP26. I'm waiting here by a school because more people pass by. My whole family sells coal, my son, my daughter and I. We've sold coal our whole lives. Fan Lao Se buys coal from nearby mines, then drives into town to sell it from the back of his van to people here to burn for heat. Because of shortages and coal being diverted to heavy industry, mines have less to spare. Sometimes he now has to wait two days at a mine to fill up his van. We asked him what he thought of China's climate emission targets and COP26. I don't know, I'm busy every day. I earn my living by working outside all day long. Even Chinese climate experts don't believe it's practical for the country to cut its coal dependence in the short term. This isn't about the gap between pledges and reality, between high-level international summits and the truth on the ground. This is the pledge, the one China has made officially, to build more and more coal power for the next four years and then reduce it only gradually. They have not said how they will do that or how long it will take. And in that uncertainty, that hesitation, hangs the future of our climate.